Welcome back to the Maelstrom, ladies and gentlemen. Today, the 100 Kingdoms and the Nords go head to head. If you're just joining us in our conquest journey, we want to say welcome. The Fate of Five Generals campaign is an ongoing effort to get each faction painted and ready for war, with games along the way to try out all the new stuff we've prepared. Our 600-point games are finished, and the 1,000-point game segment is underway. Check out the playlist in the top right corner of the video if you're interested in catching up on any of the past action that you might have missed. In addition, Enter the Maelstrom has partnered with Parabellum War Games in their affiliate program to help introduce more individuals to the game of Conquest. When you place your next order on Parabellum's website, simply click the discount code option at checkout and enter Maelstrom 10. This will give you a 10% discount off the order and assist the channel while doing so. It will go a long way to helping us make more Conquest content in the future. To all of you who have already done this, we say thank you. The Hundred Kingdoms and the Nords struggled in their initial outings with close fought losses, but today they intend to change that pattern. Today, Hanser Vico and Murdoch go head to head. For initial table setup we are playing maelstrom today uh, so three objectives the objective in the center of the table is a three inch radius the two on the flanks are six inch radius um, these objectives are worth two points each on the flanks one in the center whichever player can get to eight first wins if neither player can do that in ten turns uh, it will go to final score to see who pulls it out so from this side will be the nords the hundred kingdoms coming in opposite them we'll be right back with reinforcements in first turn all right so the hundred kingdoms list that i am bringing for this leg of the campaign um starts with a noble lord he has uh, the tactical one retinue and regalia of the empire and in his warband i will have a squad of three stands of household guard with a leader a standard bearer and an arms master then I will have a squad of three stands of men-at-arms with a leader, a standard bearer, and a neophyte, and a squad of mercenary crossbowmen with four stands with a leader. Then I have a theist priest who has the death cult mastery and three levels in magic retinue, and his spell will be holy fire, and he will be leading a squad of six stands of militia with a leader and a standard bearer. For my 1,000 point Nord list, I took a Jarl with both Dragon Aspect as well as Wolf Aspect thanks to the two tier tactical retinue that he has received as well as his Raven Messengers for his upgrade. Coming with him are five stands of Huskarls with a Leader, a Standard Bear, and a Thing. Two squads of Raiders at four stands apiece, both with a Standard Bear and one squad of Uger at uh, three with a standard bear. All right, so for first turn reinforcements, beginning with the 100 Kingdoms, two light units. One of them will be showing up. And then the Nords, two light units as well. Both will show up for the Nords. All right, first turn initiative. 100 Kingdoms will be on the white. Nords on the purple. So first turn, we'll go to the Hundred Kingdoms. Turn one is in the books. Uh, the mercenary crossbow moved on on the flank. Uh, one group of raiders moved to answer them, and the other with the Jarl is coming to the opposite flank. So that is going to be it for turn one. Turn two is next. All right, so next up, reinforcements. Hundred Kingdoms have one more light unit, which is here. And then they have uh, two mediums, both of which arrive. And then for the Nords, two mediums, one shows up this turn.
Turn two, initiative. We'll go to the Nords. Turn two is finished up. The Huskarls have joined the table and moved into the center. Uh, the Jarl and his raiders continue to move forward here while the other raiders turned and started to move around the flank of the table. Uh, the mercenary crossbowmen advanced. The militia came on behind them uh, with the theist priest moving to seek new escort with them. Uh, the militia hung out here at the edge of the table and then the household knights came on down here with the noble lord. Uh, so turn three will be next. All right, Nords rolling to see if their Ugers show up this turn. And on a four, they are here. All right, for initiative, the Nords will have plus one. And it will go to the 100 Kings. All right, so the uh, crossbowmen, we have reached the point where they are activating for the turn. Uh, they are going to be firing into the Huskarls who have advanced to meet the militia towards the center of the table. Um, one stand is inside arc. They have already rolled their volley. They scored two hits there against the side. So if you want to go ahead and make your defense rolls there. I'm going to go ahead and use the leader's reroll for one of these. All right, fire away. Two. So two at defense two because of the armor piercing. Mm -hmm. So one side. So one goes down. And then one stand is also in close range, getting four shots against the uh, Huskarls. No help there. And then two more stands that are outside of their 10 inch half range. One more. At three. Mm hmm. And he will go down. So that is it for turn three. The Uger have joined here with the Raiders reforming as the um, household guard moved forward. Um, militia and Huskar are set to begin their clash. Uh, crossbowmen <laughs> moving into position uh, with the men at arms and the Raiders on the flank. Um, so after this turn, uh, the Huskarls are going to claim this objective and this objective. And the Noble Lord will be claiming this objective. Uh, so at that point, it's going to be two to three in favor of the Nords. Turn four coming up next. All right, technical difficulties, but the Nords did take initiative for turn four. All right, so uh, the Yarl has used Turn the Tide. The Huskarls are charging with a three into the Militia. Clash coming up next. All right, Huskarls are getting things started with impact attacks. In threes. And at four so far. So four impact hits. Let's uh, fell three mm -hmm. um, and resolve. Lose two. All right, so the Huskar is clashing. Needing fours and less. Wow. So 10 looks like. Yep. Look at them go. So six save on a two or less. Uh, so four go down and then they will need resolve. Which will claim two more. The militia are answering with 13 attacks. Inspired, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. So five hits. <clears throat> and the Huskarls lose one, correct? Yep. Yep, and resolve for those. Good. No concerns. All right, so the Raiders are moving to fight the crossbowmen. They've rolled a four for their charge, which is enough to get them in there. Uh, so for the first time, H is actually making some charges, and Hanser is going to get a clash off here in just a moment against these crossbows. So first up for the Raiders, throwing weapons, impact attacks. Any twos? Yep. Nice. Got through. All right, saves against the impact attacks. We'll take yeah. down three. And and they're then they're resolved. So. Make one initially, but they are flanked. That'll be enough to get three more. All right, and now the Nord standard attack. Mm -hmm. They have flirt? Yes, sir. Four so far. Not much help there. Five total. So initial defense. It's four, correct? Mm -hmm. All right. 
and then resolve. One so far. So four more there. Crossbows miss with their clash attacks in return. Uh, six into household guard, two in the militia. All right. Uh, yep. Sounds good. So this is throwing axes from here. Mm -hmm. and these are going into the household guard. Got two. Two. Guard's good. Good to go. And then two the militia. Well, one there. You did. But we'll get one. All right, so the household guard have come into combat here with the raiders, but they did have to make a move and a charge to get there. Um, next up, the theist priest is going to cast holy fire against the raiders. Four. Mm-hmm. And it's magical ability to make it five, so ten hits. Yep. So ten hits. You can make all those, right? Sure. <laughs> Not a one. Nice. So then 10 resolves, unfortunately. <laughs> and that will do it. So that will get the Raiders. All right. So that is turn. Uh, combats are locked up here and here. Uh, the Raiders did a ton of damage. Uh, these guys did manage to survive thanks to the supremacy. No breaking this turn and uh, the priest was able to clean this flank up for them. Um, so at that point, I believe the Nords are holding these two objectives and the Hunter Kingdoms are still holding this one, correct? Mm -hmm. All right, so that is going to increase the Nord score to six, six and the, the uh, Hunter Kingdoms to four. Uh, we will be right back as turn five gets underway. All right, initiative. We'll go to, that's All a tie, right. correct? All right, reroll. Nords will take initiative. All right, so the Jarl is the first activation. He is going to activate, turn the tide on the Huskarls once more. They are clashing, but not inspired. A priest. And a leader. Seven? Yep. Yeah. Perhaps I should say. <laughs> Five so far. And resolve is back down to two because they're down to. So eight altogether, right? Mm -hmm. All right, one stand remains. Yeah, For the Jarl's cool. action, he's going to be uh, dueling against the Lord here. So first off for the Jarl's attacks. Slash four, the dragon aspect. So five hits. Two. So two go through, and then the Lord's attacks. Three. So three saves for the Jarl. Got one, so two moves. All right. Household Guard are up next. Uh, they're going to be clashing on fours against the Raiders. No Inspire. Six. Six. Oh, wait, for the leader. Oh yeah, later. Remains at six. All right, so household guard are uh, cleave one, which we forgot briefly. So six of the raiders will go down to that, and then they're resolved. Okay, they, they do have the urls, and he does have attack two, so I guess we we'll reroll these two. Yep. They do not care. All right, Ugers have flanked the uh, household guard, so they're going to start off with impact hits. Eight threes. One. Nice. One. Good to go. And then we've got, uh, nine. what, nine? All right, so, so five hits. Cleave two. Cleave two. Leaves you on a two with Bastion, right? Yes. All right. So four. And then we'll need their resolve check. So eight all together. All right, militia clashes. One so far, you got a leader? I do. Two. Two, so two hits against the Huskarls. Medium force. Uh, wow. So okay. two go down. And resolve. No concerns, because you still have four trays. 
All right, the Raiders are clashing here against the Household Guard. The Jarl is black. A flurry. Yep. We'll give six. Wow. Got a two, right? Two, six, one. Yep. And then resolve. One more. Mm, is he good there? Okay, all right. All right, the Theist Priest is launching Holy Fire. His men at arms have moved to uh, fire on the priest. Uh, and Holy Fire coming in now. Not as impressive as before. So two all together, right? All right. It's in the flying so I don't get shields. Right, so defense three, right? Yes. Since your Thane has uh, two. That is two. And, and resolve. Three, two, resolve. But they are resolve three. One more. All right, the game winds down, rolls to an end with the noble lord um, offering a duel and the Jarl telling him, nah, I'm good. Uh, so that will break both regiments here. Um, that will end the game as well. Um, even without the objectives, the Nords were able to score two of their secondaries for the turn. Um, they scored both of them uh, when this regiment was broken. Um, so that will be a Nord victory. Um, the game will end uh, in a score of, let's see, the... Hunter Kingdoms are bringing down this objective. So that's two for them. This objective we agreed was contested, yes? Mm -hmm. All right, and then you're gonna score one more there. And then there are the two cards. So that's gonna be nine to six in favor of the Nords. The Hundred Kingdoms made a valiant effort to stop the Nord advance, but in the end, it just wasn't enough. The Uger charge in the Household Guard's flank ultimately turned the side of the field in their favor. Though the Theist Priest and his men were able to shore up the opposite side, the Huskarls holding the center was able to push the balance in favor of the Nords. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell and activate notifications so you can receive updates whenever we release new content. The more subscribers we have, the more visible we will be, which helps to continue showing conquest to the gaming community at large. You can also check the description below the video for links to our Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon pages. If you are of a mind to support the channel, then Patreon is one of the most affordable ways to do so. Every dollar helps to push the channel towards a full-time endeavor, which would mean more content at a higher quality. Each level also comes with perks for each of our patrons. Special thanks to this week's patron goes to Alan Cantrell for upping the pledge yet again. We are grateful for our patrons and look forward to seeing more names added to this list in the future. That's all we have for this game, but the campaign is far from over. Check back soon as the Hundred Kingdoms meet the Wadroon Hordes on the field of battle in Game 8.